Hey everybody, this is Dr. Matt Bergman, and I wanna share with you ways that you can provide your students with choice. When we provide students with choice, we typically have two different ways of doing it. Flexibility in the product, what's produced, or flexibility in the process, how it's produced. So let's sort of break this down for you. The first thing that you would wanna do is sort of get an idea of what your academic standard is all about. So academic standards generally are the compass that guide us into creating learning goals and lessons and even assessments. So typically content standards are standards that you're trying to measure some type of knowledge or concept. Uh, words like describe or paraphrase, compare and contrast are often used. Another way of looking at standards is through method standards, which students might have a specific skill or they might have to demonstrate a or complete a certain task in order to master it. You'll see words like measure, draw, write, or even calculate. So once you have an idea of what your academic standard is, you might want to break it down a little bit further to sort of get an idea of how could I assess this? What are some of the key components? And you might already have that knowledge, but you can also use tools like Magic School, which is a free AI tool where you can use the standards unpacker to simply put in the grade level and the academic standard you're trying to meet, and it'll break it down to key components, expectations, even learning targets. Now, one of the limitations of the free version of Magic School is that you can't ask it further questions. So to get around that, you might want to think about using a tool like ChatGPT, Copilot, or even Gemini. So Gemini is Google's tool, and I'm going to just share with you how you could use this to break down the academic standard even more. You'd want to give it a prompt. So I said, hey, please unpack the following academic standard. And I give that particular standard there, and I click send. And what Gemini is going to do is give me an idea of the, the different pieces of this that are really important. I can further ask it questions. I can even ask for assessment ideas as well, which is a really, really interesting way of doing things. So, okay, so we understand our, our academic standard. And so where can we provide choice? So if we have a content standard where we want students to know something, uh, we might develop a goal like this. Explain the three major causes of the American Revolutionary War. And with that particular goal, we have some different ways of assessing. So we could develop a PowerPoint presentation, a multimedia presentation, a podcast, even an essay. But sometimes we don't have that flexibility. And so that would be an example of a method standard, right? So if we have a method standard, we might have a specific task, like calculate this math problem or write an informative text explaining the three major causes of the American Revolutionary War. So in order to give our students flexibility and some different options, we could think about how we actually write the essay. So do we give a graphic organizer or something as simple as post-it notes where students generate their ideas? Could they use speech to text technology to just get their ideas out there and then go through and edit and um, modify later? What about the writing process? Could they continue using that speech to text tool? Could they use Google Docs? Could they just handwrite their draft? It's up to, up to you. The other thing is, is that when they're going through and they're editing, are there protocols in place? Do you have a checklist? Do you have maybe a peer review choice board where it's, uh, a peer can actually give feedback based upon a choice board? A good one is by Caitlin Tucker, which I highly recommend you check it out. The other thing that you could possibly do is, do you have an opportunity to work one-on-one -on -one or in small groups with students? So this shows you that you can be flexible in the process. But what does this actually look like? So let's show you a couple examples here. So a content standard, we need to know something. A great tool that you could use is a choice board. This right here is an example of a standards aligned choice board, where you have an academic standard, you have a learning goal, and then you have three different ways to meet it we developed a rubric. And so that rubric is the example of a single point rubric. These are the things that we are grading for. Now you could use a single point rubric to provide feedback, or you could use it even as a grading tool. I love using it as a feedback tool because it will show, hey, these are the areas of improvement, you either met the standard or and you exceeded the standard and here's why. So that could be a great way of providing students with options. Choice boards are great for doing that. But 
what if you don't have a whole lot of flexibility where students have to write the essay? What could you do? So, for example, I developed this assignment right here where students have to write the essay. So once again, we could have an introduction right here. Perhaps we could provide a template. So this right here is just a template that students could possibly use to put this together. Uh, another thing that we have embedded in here is, OK, some frequently asked questions like how can I brainstorm my ideas? Well, here are some different tools that you can use to brainstorm your ideas. Um, what about proofreading my essay? Like, what are some things that I could possibly do? And so it gives some different suggestions on how you can do that. And then also getting feedback, like how could I go through and I could get feedback? How can I submit and provide, um, get uh, my final draft in? So these are just different ways to, once again, students have to write the essay but once again, they do not have the flexibility of doing an interpretive dance or a presentation. So like I mentioned before, how can you provide flexible choice? You can do it in the product or the process. When we're flexible in the product, it's typically a content standard. We want students to know something and so they can demonstrate it in flexible ways. When it's flexibility in the process, that means that they have to create the essay, they have to solve the math problem, they have to do this or they have to do that but there might be flexible ways along the journey. So hopefully that helps you as you're designing flexible options for students with the UDL framework in mind. Have fun.